All right, I got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six packages. This one says pet toy. All right, this is not electronics. Pretty sure. are okay. I used to get these um, toys for my cat at Pet uh, PetSmart, I think, and they stopped selling them, so I've been trying to find a source of them, and it's like the only toy he'll play with, and he's getting fat, so I need to get some new toys for him. We'll see if he likes those. Rocker switches. This is a double rocker switch. I bought this for my 3D printer so I can have um, power on off and standby. So I can put, um, I'm going to put a, a remote control relay on there, connect it to my Octopi, so I can remotely turn the power on. Um, and then I'll have a kill switch to actually kill the whole power, you know. I want to be able to shut the compute, the 3D printer off, you know, when I'm not here or whatever, just so it's safe. I don't trust a, you know, a standby. If it kicked on and there was a thermal problem, so I got a double switch. I'll wire it up so that one one goes to mains. Well, not mains, but the uh, you know the 12 volt coming in or whatever it is. I think it's 12 volt, and then and then goes to a soft switch like a relay where I can turn on the power and turn on the soft power. And then one switch will kill both of them. I feel a little rough. Let's see what these are rated at. Right uh, 250 AC 6 amps. Um, that should be okay. I think it's got one of these switches in there now, so I should be able to just widen that hole and pop that in there. And then uh, I'm probably going to put like an auxiliary port just to be able to wire the Pi into a you know a relay that's inside the pre you know inside the enclosure. So I have. This is where I have power on and, st and standby on or off. You know, in case you don't trust it. So. Jumper cable. All right. A lot of people buy these. I've seen them all over. They're just little pre-cut. They said they're for breadboards. I don't not. I don't think this is going to work in a breadboard at all. Um, I don't know why they advertise it like that. I don't see this working. I think these are really just to have some pre-tinned wires for hooking up stuff. Nice thin wire, you could just, let's see, yeah I don't see how you're supposed to use this in a breadboard. There's no way. Yeah, these are not breadboard wires. There's no way you could use those in a breadboard. I don't know what people are talking about. These are good for um, wiring up a proto board, but for the price, you get you know tons of white uh, white 
tons of black and red ones. So put those in a little bin for you, when you're prototyping. You know, you know, you won't have to um, break out some wires and split and cut them and strip them and tin them. These are all ready to go. Maybe there's a different kind that that are actually a larger gauge and can fit in a breadboard, but not those. Uh, it doesn't say. I like these. Uh, I bought these before. I liked them, so I bought um, some more. Just little wire holders, organizers. Oh, this one came with. Oh, this one came with um, some um, double stick foam tape that's sized to the. Well, my other ones didn't come with that. That's nice. Huh, maybe I missed it, but I don't. I don't remember seeing those before. Machinery parts. This is a tiny battery charger. It's very small. That's why I bought it. If I want to add lithium to a project like like this guy, um, it should be pretty easy to incorporate. You know, somewhere to put a little battery charger. This is the one I have now. This one's significantly smaller. All right, one more. Tweezers. Probably is tweezers because I just can't stop buying tweezers. Yes, <laughs> uh, it is. It's these uh, little clamps. I already have one of these. I bought some more. I find them to be fairly useful for if you just really want to grab something real quick and hold it. You want to tie something down or hold something down or let's see. You have. Um, Have something you want to put something there and something on something and just clamp it down real quick. Make sure it doesn't move. Um, and it's plastic or nylon, so it's not going to mar anything. So now I have a few of those. And they're they're okay for soldering too. If you wanna hold something in place. Or just place two of them on something. Not to hold it steady or whatever, something small. That's it for now. Till next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. So long.